The gear is part of your bandsaw's drivetrain. It attaches to the sprocket shaft and is driven by the worm gear. Over time, the gear will wear. This will lead to excessive gear lash, causing noisy operation. The gear can completely fail, causing the motor to run, but the wheels to not move, or stall when a cut is made. Replacing the gear is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the drive pulley from the bandsaw. Now remove the retaining ring the washer, and the drive pulley. Behind the pulley, I'll remove the chain and the sprocket. Now I'll remove the two screws that retain the sprocket assembly to the housing. The sprocket gear and the worm gear mesh very tightly together. Because of that, next I need to split the housing here. That'll free up some space between the gears. So first I'll remove the handle cover. Then the two lower screws that secure the handle to the housing. I'll flip the saw over and remove the screw that secures the blade guard to the housing. Back over and I'll remove the screws that secure the housing. And now I can split the two pieces apart. Now I can pull the sprocket shaft assembly from the housing. I'll go ahead and remove some of the grease from this assembly. If you were replacing this gear because it had worn or failed, you'll want to go ahead and replace all of the grease. Otherwise, the metal that's in the grease will wear away at the new gears when you install them. Now I'll use a bearing puller to remove the bearing. I'll use a bearing separator to remove the gear. At this point, it would be best to use a press to remove the shaft from the gear, but you probably don't have one of those. So the other way you can do it is to place the separator over the vice jaws, and then I'll use a socket that's just slightly smaller than the inner hole in the gear to remove the shaft from the gear. Now I'll install the new gear. I'll apply a small amount of grease to the inside of the gear, then place it onto the shaft, and I'll use a larger socket to tap it in place. And I'll reinstall the bearing the same way. I'll apply some grease to the new gear, and reinstall it into the housing. I'll lightly tap it with a rubber mallet as I align the gears. Now I can reattach the rear housing to the motor housing. Now I'll reinstall the bearing retaining screws. And the guard screw. Now re-secure the handle to the housing. And I'll replace the handle cover. Now reinstall the chain and drive sprocket. Reinstall the wheel. The washer. I'll secure it with the retaining ring and reinstall the hub. 
and now you can install a new gear in your bandsaw. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.